Hey everyone, Dr. Matt Geller here. I'm here with Dr. Bryce St. Clair, resident at Houston. University of Houston. University right. of Houston, that's awesome, doing ocular disease, correct? Correct. So we're gonna talk about residency, and what residencies do you think, I guess by specialty, are most advantageous uh, going into the year 2020 now? So I'm currently a resident at the University of Houston. I'm the ocular pathology, ocular disease resident. So I'm uh, interested in doing teaching, um, and a lot of the students, the fourth year students and third year students I uh, have ask about you know, which field they, want, they should go into for the residency. I tell them the most competitive ones currently are cornea contact lens. There's only a handful of sites currently that offer that, uh, that specialization. Um, so in the future, ideally, they would have more uh, sites or more colleges, universities offering uh, those specializations. Ocular disease is by far the most uh, popular uh, residency to go into, but regardless of what you're going into, whether it's pediatrics, contact lenses, geriatrics, community outreach, they're all extremely beneficial uh, for people who, any residents, I believe you would ask uh, if they've done it. What is a good reason for someone to want to do a residency and what's a good reason not to do a residency because I don't think it's for everyone. Right, so um, I, I agree. I don't think residency is for everyone. There are a lot of people um, at Ohio State where I went who had uh, a clinic lined up, a practice they were just going to buy into, maybe as a family practice, maybe they're in a rural part of Ohio where they could just join that practice immediately. Maybe they want to do something different, work for industry, work in, uh, in a personal brand of some sort. And I agree that that might not be necessary. Um, but for people who are looking to kind of like hone their skills, see these more advanced diseases, or maybe see uncommon presentations of common diseases, I think residency is paramount. Um, I think that if you talk to any resident, they'll, they'll kind of explain that, you know, their experience for just one year is just uh, night and day differences of how they were fourth year. I feel like I'm better set in just the five months I've had since the residency started. Now, if someone's on the fence about doing a residency, what are the clear reasons they shouldn't do a residency? So a lot of people say that um, they are not interested in taking the financial burden of, of doing a residency. Maybe you have a master's degree, maybe you have a family, maybe you want to start a family. And some people think that a year of doing residency is going to hold them back in some way. So a couple of uh, kids in my class uh, decided that they didn't want to do residency for that reason. But honestly, I think that the most people decide not to do residency um, because of uh, buying into a practice. I, mean, I think a lot of people can inherit something uh, from a family member, maybe they want to move across the nation and they already have a job lined up, and so uh, that practice can basically tell you if they value that or not. Yep. Any closing thoughts on residency or tips perhaps on uh, getting the residency that you want, your first choice? I would say if you're interested in pursuing a residency, the first thing to do is to talk to people who already completed it or who are um, doing a residency at that time. Mm -hmm. Kind of uh, de demystify or dispel some of these myths that might exist around it, and then really ask yourself, is that something you're interested in pursuing? Um, talk to people on both sides, some people who, who maybe wanted to do a residency and didn't do one, or maybe some people who didn't want to do a residency and they're extremely successful and they're practicing physicians currently. I think that's the best way to kind of move forward with your decision making. Got it. Yeah. Well, certainly very insightful. Appreciate yeah. you coming on. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks.